Hello all, this is Tabisha Dom Unique, and you're tuned in to the food that never spoils. As you all know, that's the word of God. If you don't remember any other verse on this podcast, for sure you will remember the verse that I'm about to read to you in regards to how we came about with the food that never spoils. And that comes from John 6, verse 27, as it reads, Labor not for the meat which perished, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, For him have God, the Father, sealed. Close. That is the scripture that came about that brought us to the food that never spoils. As I accommodate you in your walk with Christ, whether it be a new walk, a renewed walk, or a continued walk, it's up to us to all rally together for the greater good of our salvation. As you know, we are in the last days in which it's a lot going on and the world has changed. There's been a shift in the universe If you don't notice the shift, then you've already been compromised. And so I would advise you to come into the kingdom of God so that your spirit can be renewed, your vision will be clear, and you will receive your salvation into everlasting life with the Father. Today I shall read some promises, so many of them. Now, we are not all open to receiving the promises of Christ. Only his children, the true believers, who have confessed their sins, asked for forgiveness, requested for him to come into their heart and to make him their Lord and Savior. If that is something that you have not done or you feel like you need to renew due to life changes, then if you stay tuned for just a few minutes, I'll be available to help you in a short prayer to bring Christ into your life. On this podcast, as you know, we read nothing but the word for a short period of time every day to renew your faith, your strength, and to give you endurance out here in the world. I'll give you the topic. I'll read a few verses. And then I'll pray in hopes that you will open up your Bible and spend time with the Father to continue your strength in Christ. You can also catch me on Going Hard for Jesus twice a week on the same channel. And that podcast is just a little longer. And we're still Going Hard for Jesus talking about delivery. My God's presents. This is coming from Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 as it reads, the Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be 
dismayed. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. Next scripture, Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. This is in regards to the Father's love. I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39. The answer to prayers. This is from 1 John chapter 5 verses 14 through 15. This is the confidence which we have before him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that he have the request which we have asked from him. First John chapter 5 verses 14 through 5. This is the guidance we need. From Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3. Verses 5 and 6. My daily needs. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. My God will supply all your needs according to his riches. In glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians four nineteen. Isaiah forty one verse ten. The Lord's help. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not anxiously look about you, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, surely. I will help you, surely. I will upload you, uphold you, (laughs) upload, uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 Verse 10. My internal security. I give internal life to them and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10 verse 28. The forgiveness of sin. First John chapter 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, 
He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. The promise of God. First King chapter eight, verse fifty six. Daily dwell on God's promise to you. Hide them in your heart, and always remember no one, no one word has failed. Of all his good promise. I'm going to have to get us an official spot. I'm trying to read the word to my people. And chase a cat. Now. As I promised. We have the salvation prayer. If you have yet to receive Christ into your heart, into your life, don't despair. If you join me in this short prayer, it's that simple. If you have anything going on in your life, and you trust in God, slowly but surely, as you feast on his word, repent, turn away from your ways, he will assist you in cleansing those things out of your life. So don't let the enemy tell you that you can't do it, you're not good enough, or it won't happen. Trust in the Lord. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayers. As we continue to be blessed with the gift of breath, understand that no matter what you have going on in your life, if you woke up this morning and you can hear the sounds of my voice, then you are able to start from scratch. And change your old to new. So let's open up our hearts, our minds, and our spirits to Christ. Becoming Lord and Savior of your life. So that you can enjoy everlasting life. And be protected from the snare of the devil. Thank you for joining us on the food that never spoils. As you know, this is just the appetizer. I expect you to continue the meal by feasting on the word of God so that you can enjoy more of the food that never spoils. Thank you. Catch me on Going Hard for Jesus. And if you need prayer together, you can catch, up, catch us on Facebook on Jesus on the Main Line. Thank you. Have a blessed day.